All right, pud knockers. Uh, just figured I'd try to help a few new people out. Um, show you a couple little things that I've learned about ER, ELRS uh, management, fleet management with ELRS um, since it came out. And I figured I'd just share it with y'all. Uh, some of y'all will probably find this helpful. Some probably won't because you're already doing it, what have you. But uh, just got three things I want to share with you uh, that will make your life so much easier. So, things to think of on the front end. Uh, so you don't have to deal with a bunch of crap on the back end. Uh, you know, for, for one, one of the first things, one of the first things you want to, uh, you want to try to try to do is you want to try and minimize the number of different brands and models of receivers you use, you purchase. If, if you pick up a different model, a different brand of RX and a different model every single time you're looking because something's out, you're going to end up with a bunch um, of different, uh, different uh, firmware to flash. And six months down the road, when you're looking back at your quad, you're like, oh, crap, what kind of receiver is that? Now, there's an easy way to, to identify what hardware you need. Uh, you simply connect via Wi-Fi, look at the browser. It'll tell you what the Wi-Fi is. I'll show you that here in a second. But why wrestle with all that if, if you can avoid it? Uh, the second tip I would have would be about the passphrase. If you forget your passphrase, it's not the end of the world. Uh, there's a way to recover it in a, in a sense. You will not, if you forget your passphrase, you will not be able to recover the verbal, the uh, uh, written passphrase. You know, whatever your, whatever, however you'd write it down. But you can recover the digital version of your passphrase. And uh, you can extract that off of any receiver that you that you have, and then you can use that and put it in any new new receiver that you're going to flash going forward. And that way you're not you're not locked out, not having to reflash everything with a new passphrase if you don't want to. It's just you may not re remember Mary had a little lamp. You'll have to um, extract the digital version off your receiver, and then you know put it in on uh, any new receiver that you do. Less, less sexy, but it's doable. Uh, the other is, I want to show you a little flashing trick that I, that I use. So whether it's my computer in my bedroom, our computer in here, I have uh, two, two, two networks basically on each, on each PC. So in my computer in my bedroom, I have a hard line. I've got a Cat5. And then I've got a Wi-Fi card. And so what that allows me to do is when I open up the uh, configurator, plug in the, your drone, I, the computer can connect to your drone via Wi-Fi while still having a hardline connection to the internet and build and flash your, um, your, uh, your firmware, well, firmware build all at one time. Versus if you only have one connection, you have to make your build, then connect to your drone, which then you lose internet connection. And then you can flash. And usually the way you do it that way is the browser pops up. You've got your uh, file explorer popped up. you got to copy the, the location address to the file, paste it in the browser, hit update. And it's just so too many different steps. So run two networks. So like I said, a hardwire and a Wi-Fi network card and the PC in the bedroom. This PC here, I run two Wi-Fi networks. Um, one is a, is a PCIe card in the machine. The other is this little device right here. Little TP-Link. See if I can get some light on that. Little dongle. This was this was 20 bucks. Hello. There you go. This was 20 bucks. And I simply keep it in my drawer here. And when it's time to flash something, I slide it into the front USB port on the computer. Gives me two Wi-Fi networks, connect, flash, build, all in one one 
quick swoop, if you will. So figure, um, go through that process real quick, just so you can see how, how easy and convenient it is. Um, what I've got going on here, overhead. So got my little whoop. Two S. So let's go ahead and plug it in, and let's start getting that Wi-Fi network. I have a fan right here on the floor, so I'm going to go ahead and put put this on this fan. So I'm trying to keep everything. Cool as possible. There. All right, so there's that on the fan. Now I'm gonna take my little Wi-Fi card and let's see. Let's go over to the desktop real quick. So I want to show you something. So right now, Wi-Fi. I've got one network and we've got the receiver already there. All right. So now, let's slide this into the USB slot. All right. Sound like you heard it. You heard it ding. So let's give that a second. All right. So let's go to desktop. Let me show you this. All right. So you got Wi-Fi 4 right here, right? It's already connected because because this is this is the dongle. Wi-Fi 3, this is my network, which is just the default. The moment I plug in that dongle, I get this Wi-Fi 4, and it automatically connects to that uh, receiver. So let's open up Express LRS. Before we do that. Right here, 10. All right, so if you forget your uh, what brand, what model receiver that is, and you're trying to figure out what firmware to flash, right here is where you're going to find that. All right, so you just connect Wi-Fi. You can look here and it'll tell you what your firmware is. A lot of times people forget, and it's it's really is that easy. The other tip is why you're in here. If you forgot your passphrase, right down here, I'll hide this. Just straight down in options, there's your passphrase. I'll blur this out. That, you can copy this, save it, 12 Wi-Fi, right here. You can take that binding phrase, and you can see I already got a connection right here. You can, get the, you can put that digital binding phrase right there, and there you have your passphrase. I set up my networks. I always change this to 20, 20 seconds because I don't want to sit there and have to wait. I'm connected. Flash. And because I'm connected to both networks, I can build and flash at the same time. This is quick. This is fast. If I wasn't doing the talking, this would be done in, action, in, in, in one minute. Success. So, so, there you go. It's pretty much that simple. Um, take out all the talking. Take out the other cu couple little tips. Simply because I've got two two Wi-Fi networks on here. It cost me nineteen dollars. Now I can I can flash and literally as soon as soon as it it starts um, initiating our Wi-Fi signal at twenty milliseconds or sixty milliseconds default, you can you can flash it in thirty seconds and, and be done. So. There's that. I hope it helps some of y'all. Um, you know, always appreciate a like and subscribe. Uh, with that said, peace out. Love y'all.
Keep flying.